Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in today. Today in this uh, video tutorial, I will show you how to uh, reset controls on your joystick or yoke for Flight Simulator X and set other controls for it. And change controls and everything. Basically, program the settings. Controls for the joystick. So let's go to settings. As you can see right here, I have uh, Satec Pro Flight throttles and rudder. And right now, once you go to settings, you have to go to controls, which is right on the right, or right over here. Press on that, and you get a screen like this. Now this screen shows you everything like joystick, like sensitivity and everything. And uh, right over here shows your controller type. Controller type, say tech Pro Flight Yoke, and you can change it if you want to uh, the mouse yoke, mouse look, Pro Flight Rider pedals. You should change the settings for those. Alright, now we looked at this. This one isn't so helpful right now. Where uh, if you want to go change the controls uh, for buttons on your yoke, let's say this button over here, you want to change it from, uh, let's say, flaps to gear. We go to control, buttons, and keys. Alright, now we're here. Now you get to select which choice you're going to use first. First I have Satec Pro Flight, make sure you have the right one. And now here are the events, right over here. Let's say uh, APU start, there's no button for that. I can put a button for that, let's say, let's go with the APU start. And if you want to set a button, button for it, so here's what you do. You go, you click on it, start, and you put new assignment. Now you can either put a key from the keyboard or a button from your joystick. So right now I'm going to click any button from my joystick. Let's say this. Okay. I pressed it and now it shows the button number here. Button 18. This button is available. So if I press that button, it will start up the APU. But I don't want that button to start up the APU so I'm just going to clear it. I'm just showing you how to do it and so on. You can also change the assignments too. Click on it, click on any of them, change the assignment, or you can delete the assignment. Key assignment or joystick assignment. On the left they have the key assignments, like right over here. Control Shift C. On the right they have a uh, joystick assignment. Now some people want to know, uh, someone sent me, sent me a request, how do you set the defaults uh, for your joystick or whatever? You should set the default which means like uh, your uh, joystick's factory settings or how the settings came out first. Well, for me, I don't want to reset my Pro Flight Yoke setting because uh, how it came was pretty bad. The default settings were really bad. I had to change them all up and everything it was really annoying. So you go to reset defaults right over here. But make sure you have the right yoke joystick. You have to make sure you have the right one. Alright, now here's another thing I want to show you, the control axis. Let's say you want, let's say you have a problem turning your joystick or whatever. If you turn on the left, somehow in the simulator it turns right. If you want to fix that, you go here. So you go to uh, Pro Flight Yoke. This is the sensitivity control axis stuff. And here, there's ailerons access right over there. If you want, you can press that right over here. See, make sure you do not click reverse for any of them. Because that could mess it up a lot. So you have X access for this. If you put reverse, if you turn left, it'll turn right. So keep it off reverse. Alright. And there's more down here. See, throttle access right over here. And for people who want to fix their rudder pedals, profile rudder pedals, because uh, when you first get them, their default settings are pretty bad. If you move. If you uh, shift to the left, then the ailerons will move. It, it's kind of annoying. So if you want to fix that, here's what you do. You switch this here to the Pro Flight rudder pedals. Right over here, rudder pedals. And then you find, look for, first you have to look for brake left axis, brake right axis, because the brakes don't work on default settings. So you go press on the brake left axis. All right. Sorry, the camera's a little shaky. I'm 
and then you have to set the button here. So you have to put this is for the left brake, so you do with your left toe. So you push down like that, and left toe comes up. And same for the right one, but you push it down like this, like that. Push it down, not shift to the not shift like that. And if you want to reset the rudder, you go down here. It goes to rudder access, and you go to rudder. Once you press on it, click on it. Let's click on rudder access. You shift right over here. You shift, and rudder comes up. So yeah. And some people who keep turning the rudders, shifting them, and somehow the ailerons are turning. You go to aileron access right over here. If make sure you're on the pro flight uh, rudder pedals, and they might have a button right over here. So they may have a assignment right over here for the uh, ailerons access. You gotta change. You gotta delete that because the pro flight rudder, the rudder pedals don't have anything to do with the ailerons. So you gotta delete that. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching. I really hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. And please consider subscribing. More videos coming soon. Goodbye.